Good day, learners! Welcome to another episode of TV Escuela, TepEd Tavo de Oro. I am Samantha Daniel Salvado Cruda of Nobunturan National Comprehensive High School, Nobunturan West District. After going through in this module, you are expected to first identify appropriate hand tools for proper operation and safety. Second, classify hand tools and equipment according to their uses. And lastly, maintain hand tools. In your previous module, you have learned a brief history about Computer System Servicing or CSS. Now, let us go deeper to what CSS is all about. As quoted by Wallace D. Wattles, it is essential to have good tools, but it is also essential that the tools should be used in the right way. This lesson will provide knowledge and skills of different tools and equipment which are necessary in computer system servicing. Before we start our discussion, I want you to get your notebook and answer the situation given. Read and study the situation carefully. Then answer the question in a task given. One of the personal computer in your computer laboratory is not working properly and you decided to open the computer case. What are the necessary tools that you are going to use for you to open and fix it? I will give you enough time to answer. As we go on with our lesson, I will let you discover if your answers are correct. Are you ready? Great! A tool is a handheld device that aids in accomplishing a task. Tools range from a traditional metal cutting part of a machine to an element of a computer program that activates and controls a particular function. In order to maintain your tools, once selected, use the tool for the purpose for which it was designed. Not all tools come with detailed instructions, but some do spell out the safety do's and don'ts for your safety. If there are set up or use options, operator judgment must always be based on what is the safest way to use the tool. The Environmental Safety and Health Program requires the following. First, all tools should be kept in good condition with regular maintenance. Second, the right tool should be used for the job. Third, each tool should be examined before used and damaged or defective tools should not be used. Fourth, Tools should be operated according to the manufacturer's instructions. And lastly, the right protective equipment for the tool and activity should be used. There are four categories of computer servicing tools. The first is the electrostatic discharge or ESD tools. And the examples are anti-static wrist strap. It is used to prevent ESD damage to computer equipment. Anti-static mat. It is used to stand on or place hardware on to prevent static electricity from building up. Second category is the hand tools. And the examples are Flathead screwdriver. It is used to loosen or tighten slotted screws. Phillips head screwdriver. It is used to loosen or tighten cross head screws. Torx screwdriver. 
It is used to loosen or tighten screws that have a star-like depression on the top, a feature that is mainly found on a laptop. Hex Screwdriver It is sometimes called a nut driver. It is used to tighten nuts in the same way that a screwdriver tightens screws. Needle Nose Plier It is used to hold small parts. Wire Cutter It is used to strip and cut wires. Tweezers It is used to manipulate small parts. Part Retriever It is used to retrieve parts from a location that are too small for your hand to fit. And lastly, is the flashlight. It is used to light up areas that you cannot see well. The third category is the cleaning tools. And examples are Lint-free cloth. It is used to clean different computer components without scratching or leaving debris. Compressed air. It is used to blow away dust and debris from different computer parts without touching the components. Cable Ties It is used to bundle cables neatly inside and outside of a computer. And lastly is a parts organizer. It is used to hold screw, jumpers, fasteners, and other small parts and prevents them from mixing together. The last category is the diagnostic tools, and examples are Multimeter It is used to test the integrity of circuits and the quality of electricity and computer components. Loopback Adapter It is used to test the functionality of computer ports. Those are the four categories of computer servicing tools and its examples. Now, I want you to get your notebook and help me identify if the statements in maintaining the tools are correct. I want you to read the statements carefully, then write true if the statement is correct, and write false if the statement is wrong. Write your answers in your TLE CSS Activity Notebook. Number 1. All tools and equipment must be properly maintained so that workers are not endangered. Again, all tools and equipment must be properly maintained so that workers are not endangered. Number 2. Preventive maintenance keeps the tools and equipment in a safe, usable condition and extended productivity. Again, preventive maintenance keeps the tools and equipment in a safe, usable condition and extended productivity. Number 3. The level of maintenance will depend on the kind of tools and equipment that will be easy to find when needed and are less likely to be lost. Again, the level of maintenance will depend on the kind of tools and equipment that will be easy to find when needed and are less likely to be lost. Number 4. All tools should be kept in good condition with regular maintenance. Again, all tools should be kept in good condition with regular maintenance. And number 5. Damaged or defective equipment or tools should be tagged and removed from service. Again, damaged or defective equipment or tools should be tagged and removed from service. Let's find out if your answers are correct. Number 1. True. Number 2. True. Number 3. True. Number four, true. 
And number five, true. How many accurate answers did you get? Excellent! Computer servicing tools are classified into four. We have ESD tools, hand tools, cleaning tools, and diagnostic tools. In 30 seconds, I want you to classify each tool. Your time will start now. Let's find out if your answers are correct. How many correct answers have you got? Great job! Did you enjoy recognizing and classifying the different tools in CSS? Excellent! For your assignment, answer page number 15 in your module. Always bear in mind, any tool can be used for good or bad. It is really the ethics of the person using it. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed our topic, Using and Maintaining Hand Tools. Once again, I am your teacher, Samantha Daniel Salvado Cruda of Nabunturan National Comprehensive High School, home of the Achievers, Nabunturan West District, saying, Dito sa TV Escuela, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!